Hello, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at the Santa Monica College Library. Today we're going to do a short tour of the SMC Library homepage. To get there from the College homepage, mouse over Student Support and click on Library. You can also get there by clicking on Student Support, scrolling down the page to Academics, and again, Alphabetical to Library. The third way you can go is directly www.smc.edu slash library and that will take you there. From there you have a number of different places that you can go depending on your in research or information need. If you have a question off the bat you can go over here, click the Ask Us and it will connect you to our library chat. We answer chat anytime that the library is open and when we are not open we are part of a 24-7 international consortium of librarians, so if you use our library chat, you will always talk to a librarian. The page is set up to give you multiple access points for various things. So you can go in through the left frame. You can go in through the central buttons for those things that are most often used. And general information is here on the first page. So the current hours, the days were closed, some quick links to resources that we will find useful, including the Ask a Librarian chat, our YouTube channel where this video and others will be living, the ability to book study rooms for yourself or your group, finding technical resources, an orientation request form that is only for faculty, the graphic novel book club, and various other events, as well as location and contact information, and quick links to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. On the left-hand side, it's broken down essentially by task. If you're doing research, here are links that will help you find what you need. The Library Online Catalog is a quick link to everything that we own or are subscribed to. That is the equivalent of this search field. The Library Databases I'll show you in just a moment. Research Topics takes you into a specific database, Opposing Viewpoints in Context. It gives you a jumping off point for a number of issues of interest to the public. An introduction to research walks you through that process. Citation style guidelines are specifically for Modern Language Association or MLA and American Psychological Association APA guidelines. If you are using um, the Chicago style or Turabian for example, you might want to start with your instructors first as those styles are not necessarily standard for community college students. Various workshops that we give, both in person and via Zoom. And then some services. Ask a Librarian is linked both here and here, as well as over here and embedded in most databases. Obviously, we want you to ask questions. There's also information on how to get wireless internet access while on campus, our current iteration of student printing, booking study rooms, which is also linked over here, and then a link specifically for services for faculty. There is a video on this on our YouTube channel if you'd like to check it out. Some information about the library, including when we're open and closed, our policies, jobs at the library, and new things at the library, and a listing of our staff if you ever want to get hold of us. The library link at the top will take you back to the home page. On this page, as mentioned, if you want to just search for something that we have, you can search for that here in OneSearch. And I have another video specifically on this um, where we go into a deeper dive. But I'm going to do an example search for a reserve book because a lot of students need that. Say I'm looking for my math book, and I want the book for Math 52. If I just hit Enter, it will search everything, articles, books, and more. And that's probably more than I actually want. Instead, I want to look in a specific collection. So I can look only for those things that are electronic, only those things that are in print that we have on our shelves, or only those things that are on reserve. And textbooks are brought over by your instructor, placed on reserve at the library so multiple people can access them. They're checked out for two hours at a time in library use only because they don't belong to us, they belong to your instructor. So after you select the select the location that you want to search, then you search it again here, 
and it will say, oh, we don't have anything for Math 52. So at that point, I would say, oh, to my teacher, the library doesn't have the math book. Will you bring it over and put it on reserve for us? That's how you use reserve books. In order to get back to the library homepage, you click um, at the top left corner, and it will take you back. Other things on this page that you'll want to take a look at. My library account opens up the information that you have, say for example, do you have any books that are out? Um, do you have a book that is checked out to someone else that you were requesting? Did you accidentally bring something back late and now you have a fine? Do we have a message that we're sending out to everyone? All of those things will be listed here. Your library card is actually not a physical card per se. Your SMC student ID card can be used as a library card, but so can your driver's license or your visa or your state identification card. It must be something that is issued by a federal or local agency that shows that you are who you are. And this is so that someone doesn't pretend to be you and check out things and not bring them back and end up with you getting in trouble for something you didn't do. So that's your account. The next thing that I'd like to show you is our workshops and videos. We do a variety of workshops, both in person and via Zoom, about a week apart. Everything from how to do advanced searching on Google, to how to make an MLA Works Cited page, to how to do research. And those workshops are updated every semester. Heading back to the library. Ask a Librarian is, once again, that option to have chat and talk with a person live, and if necessary, and if you'd like to and are able to, um, to meet with that Librarian via Zoom in order to help you with your question. If you, individually or a group, wish to come and use one of our private study rooms, you can do so. You do not have to be in the library to reserve these. You can reserve them from your own device before you come in. And I recommend that because, as you can see, they are very heavily used. We have about 18 rooms and about 20,000 students. So plan early and um, you can reserve up to a week in advance. And we highly recommend that you do so. Our research guides also will have a separate video on them. Um, and this is, think of them as pathfinders. Um, I need to figure out something for my art class or my art history class. How do I do that? Well, I take a look at the library guide. And that library guide will give me information about that topic, how to find articles using specific databases, how to find books, specifically um, ebooks or print and ebooks, how to use web resources, and how to use sample citations for MLA. These lib guides come in a variety of purposes. Some of them are subject guides. Some of them are general, like here's how you do research. Here's how you avoid plagiarism. Here's how you do an MLA citation. And they have topic guides that are broader than individual classes or disciplines on things like um, fake news and disinformation, or the history of Santa Monica, or Native American Heritage Month. So these are inter- and cross-disciplinary topic guides that are broader than the subject guides that are more often tied to specific classes or disciplines. So heading back into the library, the last thing that I want to quickly show you is our databases lib guide. It is a specific lib guide, lib guide apologies, um, that is how you access our over 50 different discipline and subject related databases. You can search by topic. As you see, it's broken out. So if you're doing a history um, paper, you know we have five databases that are specifically on history. You can also search by database type. So some are just newspapers. Some are only scholarly journals. Some contain both. Some are only ebooks. So this breaks it down by topic. And if you have a specific database in mind, you can go directly to that database. Okay. Heading back to the library.
as a reminder, if you need any help, you can always ask a librarian, ask us at any time.